Okay, good day everyone and welcome to today's webinar on NetSim data analytics and visualization. Uh, my name is Pranav Vishwanathan and I am the business manager at NetSim and along with me is Kanak uh, who is an application engineer. In this webinar we will start with an understanding on uh, the importance of simulation data analysis and visualization following which we will be discussing some of the methods that can be used for this purpose. The first section will focus on analyzing packet trace using pivot tables. Next will be on using Wireshark to analyze TCP protocol behavior. And finally we'll explain how to plot uh, spectrum usage in cognitive radio networks. Throughout this webinar we will be showing examples on how these can be applied to network scenarios created in NetSim. So in case you have any questions at any time during the webinar, you can uh, write it in the chat window and we'll try to answer them. Now simulation analysis, visualization and reporting can be a regular part of your design process. Um, and it helps to reduce the need for costly prototypes to eliminate rework or delays and to save time and development costs. Simulation results are now used to provide technical and business insights into product development decisions. In order to expand the understanding and use of simulation results by all, NetSim provides an intuitive toolkit to communicate the simulation results to all stakeholders. The next coming to data visualization, a primary goal of data visualization is to communicate information clearly and efficiently via tables and graphs. Effective visualization helps us analyze and reason about the data and evidence. It makes complex data more accessible, understandable and usable. And uh, for those of you who are doing research, as the volume and complexity of information available to researchers have increased, visual forms of representation have become more credible in scholarly communication. Now, um, <clears throat> coming into the analysis part, uh, quite obviously being able to analyze uh, data can help you make better decisions. But sometimes it's hard to know where to start, especially when you have a lot of data. Uh, a pivot table allows you to extract the significance from a large and detailed data set. It's a great way to summarize, analyze, explore and present your data. They are highly flexible and can be quickly adjusted depending on how you need to display your results. You can also create pivot charts based on pivot tables that will automatically update when your pivot tables update. An important advantage is that pivot tables are very easy to use. We will be showing how you can easily summarize data by just dragging the columns to different sections of the table. The columns can also be rearranged as you wish with the click of a mouse and with the help of pivot tables you can handle large quantities of data in a single go. We'll be explaining this to you now. Now this is a simple network scenario that we have created in NetSim which we will show you. So this is the NetSim software and um, uh, we are opening the scenario that we have saved. It's the most basic scenario where we are having um, two wired nodes uh, connected to a switch each which is in turn connected to a router and we are sending some traffic from wired node C to wired node E. Now what we are going to do in this is that we are going to enable this option called packet trace. So the packet trace in NetSim logs the packet details of each packet as it flows through the network. So we enable this and then we run the simulation. And now the simulation is completed. And on the left hand side you can see this link called open packet trace. So we open the trace. The trace is actually a CSV file. 
which is a comma separated value file uh, which can be opened with any spreadsheet software in this case we are selecting um, Microsoft Excel as the spreadsheet software now you can see that this is a very large file it has um, you know a number of columns um, more than about 30 columns and it has about uh, you know 7000 lines of information 7000 rows and remember this is for a very simple scenario with just two nodes uh, with just data being sent from one node to another now some of the columns in this trace will include the source the destination transmitter receiver and then you have various timings that are there in this when did the packet come to the application layer when did it go to the network layer um, and so on it's just a huge file with all kinds of information about all the packets that were uh, transmitted during the simulation now the first thing we will do is that uh, this is currently as a spreadsheet and we will convert the spreadsheet to a table and once it is converted to a table then it is easy to manage and analyze in a application like Excel so to do that you just have to click and then click on create table and then click OK so suddenly you can see that the entire um, trace has been forwarded I mean has been formatted into a convenient um, way where you can where it would automatically choose the row headings and so on and we have written the packet trace of NetSim in such a way that this can quickly be done in any uh, spreadsheet software so having done this the next step is just to click insert and then to click pivot table so once we do that you will uh, reach this particular screen where you can see a number of pivot table fields on the right hand side um, and this field list contains all the column headers so if you see the trace whatever are the column headers which is over there the top first line all those column headers are now available as uh, field items on your pivot table fields and then what you can do is you can just drag and drop these particular fields into whether you want them in a row or you want them in a column or you want to summarize the data and so on so um, let's say for example we wish to know the number of packets sent from all sources to all destinations so I mean in this case we had only one source and one destination so it is pretty um, easy for you to uh, get that information but um, you know had it been a more um, had it been a larger kind of uh, uh, network then it would not have been that simple for you to get this information so for this case I'll tell you suppose you want to find out how many packets were sent from all sources to all destinations then all you need to do is drag and drop source ID into rows so when you do this you can see the row table row labels are now showing on the left hand side and then what we do is we add the destination ID to columns okay so now you have got a table with rows and columns where the rows are the sources and the columns are the destinations and then the the packet uh, control packet type we just add it into values so you can see um, with just uh, a quick drag and drop of three fields we now have from this you know from this very large uh, 6000 rows by 30 columns file we have quickly got within a few minutes what are the sources what are the destinations how many packets were sent from node 3 from node 5 from router 1 so here you can see node 3 to node 5 3437 packets were sent node 3 to router 6 packets were sent a total of 3443 
Similarly, node 5 to node 3, 3, 4, 2, 7 were sent and then there were 6 sent there and this was what was sent by the router. So, um, this is a very quick table. Now, if you want to, let's say, chart this, then all you need to do is just So very quickly you have a table and you have a chart and in the chart you can see how many packets were sent from where to where you can, uh, this is just to show you an example of how you can just chart it very quickly. Now, uh, now let's say we don't know what these packets are, Why are what are these 3400 packets sent from 3 to 5, what are these other packets sent between the routers, let's say we want to understand this. Uh, we want to drill deeper because some of this could be data packets, some of this could be control packets and so on. So next what we do is we simply add the packet type to the rows. So as soon as we do this, we can see that of these packets, of the 3437 packets that were sent from 3 to 5, 8 were control packets, the remaining is our own custom application which we have designed and similarly from node 5 to node 3 what was sent everything was control and what was sent between the routers were again control packets. Now let's say we want to know what, what exactly are these control packets, I mean are they acknowledgements, are they some ICMP packets, what are they and you want to know this, then all you need to do is take that control packet type and add it to the rows. Now you see further that um, we can see that of the packets of the packets being sent uh, of the eight control packets that were sent from node 3 to node 5, four were TCP acknowledgements, four were a TCP SYN, then you can find out that the router sent six ICMP echo requests, then the other node, node 5 of the 3427 packets it sent, uh, six were ICMP echo requests, some were TCP ACK, some were TCP SYNCs and so on. Because whenever you have a network, uh, the initial setup of the tables and so on will require control packets for the route tables to set up. Similarly, if you have uh, TCP protocol running in layer 4, then for every packet that is transmitted you will have a acknowledgement that is sent. So now uh, you can see again you are now able to break down source to destination how many packets were sent, of that how many packets were control, how many were your application packets, in that how many control packets were ICMP, ICMP echoes, how many were TCP acts, how many were TCP SYNs and so on. Now let's say we want to drill down even further and see how many in these were errored. Then all you need to do is take packet status and add it and then now you can see of these how many were errored and how many were successful. So here it is showing that three packets were errored, the rest were successful and so on. So with just, with just, I mean with uh, like five minutes of work you can uh, analyze this entire trace file um, into uh, make sense of the trace file in terms of the data you want. So in this case we have shown you this example where we are showing you in terms of packets sent, packets received, error packets, control packets and so on. The same analysis can be done for you to get several other metrics such as you want to find out throughput, error, uh, power consumption, packet drops, delays and so on. So any kind of uh, metric that you want uh, that you can get from this data you can very quickly uh, set up a pivot table and then drag and drop the particular columns you want and get the data then once you have the data you can just click chart and get a pivot chart. So these are just small examples of what can be done and the power of these tables are incredible. And uh, to let you all know, uh, we have specially architected NetSim Packet Trace so that this kind of pivot table analysis can be done quickly. 
so the base data that is provided by the packet trace um, our technical team spent uh, I mean we have spent many many months in getting this right so that this kind of analysis can be done quickly to do something similar in an open source tool like NS3 would probably take many weeks and would involve writing uh, very long scripts to get this information um, so this is uh, something that whereby you can analyze large amounts of data very quickly and make sense of the data so next before we go to uh, the TCP section 